Hi folks, listen. As I was making this video, I learned I have to go somewhere and do something I don't want to do. You'll learn what it is in this video. But listen, earlier this morning, I was trying to read my Bible for two hours, but I couldn't keep my mind on it. So the original purpose of this video was to show why and how we can keep our mind on the Bible. But as I was making it, I learned that I, that I have to go to my grandpa's and dad's, which is something I don't like doing because I'm happiest here at home, where I am at the time I made this video. So after I made, after I made everything for the original purpose of this video, I added other things too that will show you and I both how to act and how to prevent acting bad when you have to go somewhere or do something unwillingly. So folks, as you watch this video, you will learn how to prevent bad reactions when you have to go somewhere or do something unwillingly. Because I love my dad and grandparents, but I would much rather stay here at home where I, where I am at the time I made this video. So please watch this and learn from it Be, because I made this to help you and I both. I made this as a reminder for me and also to help you as much as it can. I hope this helps you, no need to thank me. But if this does help you, let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Matthew 4 Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness, to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Heavenly Father, I forgive those that have sinned against me. I confess that I confess my sins. Would you make it as impossible as you possibly can for me and all Christians to believe the devil's attempts to deceive us? I ask this for me and every Christian. In, 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 in Jesus' holy name, amen. Not for that we have dominion over your faith, but are helpers of your joy, for by faith ye stand. For we walk by faith, not by sight. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Folks, listen, you just heard some reasons to pray to love reading the Bible, and and also, also you've learned, also you've learned how you can avoid believing Satan, who is also called the devil, and his lies. Folks, listen, not long after I made the first part of this video, I learned that I have to go to Grandpa's house every Wednesday and get bit and get bit by a certain little chihuahua I love my grandparents on both sides but but the grandparents I'm referring to are the ones on my dad's side in case you're wondering but I'm most happy here at, at my own home where I'm at at the time I'm making this video but folks listen I am so so glad I made this video when I did I made I made this part of the video as well as the first part, both in the same day, not even four hours apart. But folks, listen, this is one of the reasons to read the Bible. If you find out that you have to go somewhere you don't want to go regularly on a regular basis, that is one more reason to pray to want to spend time reading the Bible on a daily basis for at least two hours a day. Because after you, after you read the Bible for at least two hours a day, you can pray to not act bad when you have to go somewhere you don't want to go or that you don't like going. 
But listen, James 1 says, if any of you lack wisdom, you can ask of God who giveth to all men liberally, as long as you ask in faith. Matthew 6 says, if you forgive those that have sinned against you, you will be forgiven. But if you don't forgive them, you won't be forgiven. Mark 9 says, all things are possible to those who believe. Matthew 7 says, ask and you, sh ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find. I hope this video helps you. No need to thank me. Okay, please, please repeat what you started to say. John 14, 14 says, anything you ask in my name, I will do. So folks, listen. Romans 10, 17 says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Lord's word. So folks, in Walk case... By faith, not sight. So folks... In case you find out that you have to go somewhere you don't like going or that you don't want to, that is a reason to pray, to not be distracted by anything or anyone, and that is a reason to pray to not believe Satan or his lies or anyone who might who might be used by Satan. With God, all things are impossible. So, folks, listen. Uh, sometimes when I go to my grandpa's and or dad's, I cry my eyes out and I cuss and complain and whine. And, folks, listen. It, it's not that I don't love them, it's just, it's just I'm happiest here at my home where I'm at at the time I made this video. And also one more reason, like I said, is I don't want bit by a certain little chihuahua named Granny. So folks, listen. Since I learned that I, ha that I have to go up there tomorrow and every Wednesday, like I used to have to, that is a reason why you and I should both pray to be able to focus on the Bible for at least three hours a day. Because listen... The morning before I made this video, the same day, but several hours before I made this video, I was awake at 5.30 or so trying to read the Bible, but my mind could not concentrate on the Bible. So that is one reason why we should read the Bible so we can pray to act good and so we can pray to concentrate on it too. So that way when we go somewhere we don't like going or, or when we go somewhere we don't want to go, we can, pray to act, we can pray to act like a mature human being. And we can also ask God for wisdom on how to have a good time from now on. And, and we can also ask him to help us to solve any problems that would keep us that would keep us from having a good time there. And if you get and if you get any more ideas on, on how to have a good time, we can ask the Lord to make us unable to forget the ideas we got. That would definitely help us have a good time. I hope this helps you. No need to thank me. But if this does help you, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much. Then he said unto them, Go your way. Eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Psalm 138, The Lord will perfect that which concerneth you. Philippians 4, I can do all things through Christ who, can, uh, who strengthens me. Matthew 22 says one of the most important commandments is to love your neighbor as yourself. For those of you who wonder, Matthew 22 will tell you what the other of the two is. Matthew 7 says, Ask and you shall receive, and it also says, Do unto others as you would have done unto you. <clears throat> okay, folks, you know how I told you I have to get, go to my grandparents the day after I the day after I made this video, well, I was talking to my caregiver about how disappointed I was that I have to go there tomorrow, and she just said, pray to be patient and calm. Well, listen, like I said, Philippians 4 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I suggest, after you read this video, Pray to be able to focus on nothing but the Bible for at least two hours or one hour, and also pray to want to do nothing. Pray to want to do not, pray to want to do nothing except read the Bible for at least one hour. But I recommend two, and also I recommend that you that you pray to be be. I recommend I recommend after you pray about that, I recommend that you pray to not be able to forget to pray to be patient and calm whenever you have to go somewhere or do anything that you don't want to do or that you don't like doing, no matter how much you dislike it or even if you hate it. I really do hope this helps you. Never thank me.
but definitely let me know if this helps you but let let me know in the comments below thank you there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in christ jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin." but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his Spirit that dwelleth in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now, and not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope, for hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also... For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. The elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder, and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder, yea, all of you be subject one to another, 
and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world.